drain the swamp. Going to drain the swamp. Oh. Remember when the Donald said that? We're going to drain the swamp. Oh, I fucking love that shit, man. He's fucking going to drain the swamp, man. Fucking, he's going to get rid of all the swamp creatures, right? Remember the swamp creatures? He's going to get Comey, McCabe, Brennan, Clapper, Shrokes, Lynch, Obama, the Clintons. Oh, he's going to fucking lock them up, man. He's going to drain the swamp and lock them up, and everybody's going to be happy. The country's going to be happy, right? So it... it it's coming to that. Wow. Holy smokes. Donald Trump is going to drain the swamp. But what do we get in exchange for the swamp? Right? So I want to talk about it. FBI, CIA, dispute, uh, disputes erupt. They're all pointing the fingers. Comey, Brennan, they're pointing the fingers at each other. Right? They're, going, they're going down. They know it, right? So it's, it, you should be happy about that. I know. I know. People, for two and a half years, I know there's, there's I've been following 4chan and Atran, the fucking liars on 4chan and Atran. The, the QAnon, non and on, Q and nonsense, right? Telling you that the, the swamp is going to be drained, right? Now, there is corruption. I don't dispute that there's corruption. I think Hillary Clinton and the, what the Clintons did in the DNC is some of the most despicable people on earth. But what you got, just for the record, what you got, and then we'll talk about the story about what's going on with the PP dossier and the Steele dossier and all that shit, right? But what you got is you get Trump, Pence, Barr, right? Pompeo, ugh. Right, Abrams, Mnuchin, Bolton, right? These are some of the scum, scummiest, slimiest neocon war war criminals around. Right now, they're starting a war in, in Iran. They got 120,000 troops in Iran. Where's the irate? Where is the people? Where are the Trump supporters who, who Trump said, we're going to end the insurgency wars, these, these nonsense wars? Where are you? Why are you quiet, right? Trump, they're going to start a war. In Iran, oh, we'll get in and out. We'll get right in. We'll get right out. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit, right? You're going to get another Iraq out of that deal. So Trump has switched out the swamp, and uh, let's take a look. So here's the swamp. Here's uh, Zero Hedge reporting. FBI, CIA disputes erupt over whether Comey or Brannon pushed Steele dossier. <clears throat> so these two jackoffs right here, jackoff number one, uh, Comey, was the, was the uh, leader of the FBI, the director of the FBI, and John Brannon, who's now an MSC, MS, MSNBC talking head, was the head of the CIA. These guys are some of the biggest liars in the world, right? But they're right up there with Pompeo. We lie, we cheat, we steal. <laughs> we lie, we cheat, we steal, right? In Venezuela, right? There's, oh, the fuck are humanitarian crimes, right? They're all the same bullshit, right? You switched out one for the other. But this could get fun and interesting, right? A dispute has erupted over whether former FBI Director James Comey or his CIA counterpart, John Brannon, promoted the un, uh, unverified Steele dossier as the Obama-era intelligence community targeted the Trump campaign. Already, right, Russiagate. It's Russiagate Act 2, but there's no, the, again, the, 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 the predicate of Russiagate is the Russians hacked the DNC. Now, I just saw an a, a article today that they're trying to say that the Russians hacked the, the, the uh, voting machines or the, the, the computers in Florida election. I, you know, well, it's, just, it's just painting the tape, man. We'll never see the evidence. They'll never show us the evidence. But again, so Russiagate was a farce, is a farce, always has been a farce. But all of the things that, all of the um, process crimes, like getting warrants, for spying on the president's campaign at the time uh, occurred, right? All these, all these uh, ancillary crimes occurred, right? So here they are pointing the finger. Now that Trump has got his man, his swamp creature, Barr, the AG Barr is now in the driver's seat, they're going to try to lock up these guys or at least discredit them, right? You can't really discredit Comey anymore because he's already fired. Brandon is, I, I guess he quit or got fired. Pompeo now has his seat, right? So, so anyway, according to Fox News, an email ex uh, chain exists which indicates that Comey told bureau subordinates that Brannon insisted on the PP dossier inclusion in the Intelligence uh, Committee assessment about Russian collusion. Right. So the whole thing is they got they the Clintons pay for opposition research in the form of a dossier about Trump pissing on hookers. Right? It was so stupid, right? And Based on that evidence, if you could call it that, right? Based on that bullshit story, these knuckleheads, right, 
one of them, or both of them, or all of them together, Clapper, Brannon, and, and Comey got a FISA warrant, right? They went to courts and got FISA warrants to, 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 to uh, legitimize the fact that they were going to spy on Trump because of this nonsense. Rather than, again, the real evidence is that 12 Russians hacked the Democratic Party computers, and there's no evidence of that. But I just want to point out the piss fight. Um, so so Brandon, Brandon is pushing the blame on Comey, and Comey is pushing the blame on on uh, Brandon. And Clapper, I guess, is the, he was the, the, the leader of all of them, right? He's the oversight of, of all the intelligence um, committees, right? So Brandon and Clapper prevented it from being added into the official assessment. James Comey then decided on his own to brief Trump, right? They're all lying. They're all pointing the finger at it. So it's going to get interesting, right? Heads are going to roll. Right? James Comey, James Clapper, and John Brandon are starting to publicly argue who is pushing the dossier that ended up in the intelligence community assessment on Russian interference. The rats are beginning to turn on each other. I, I would definitely agree with that assessment. That's Trey Gowdy saying something. I don't want to read that. Uh, so a, uh, a high-level source tells me it was Brannon who insisted that the unverified and fake steel dossier is in t- uh, will be included in the intelligence report. And that's Rand Paul. That's Rand Paul. I, uh, Ron Paul's son saying that. Uh, so... There's a lot to it, but it, it's just just in a in a uh, just as a summary, right? Very, very brief. So so the rats are running, right? One swamp is now being switched out for the other. A couple of heads are going to roll. But the question you have to ask yourself, my cat is crying. The question you have to ask yourself is, how does it affect your life? Does it make your life when when all of these when all of these creatures are locked up? If that should happen, if we should actually see Hillary Clinton. In you know, in an orange jumpsuit someday. Oh, how we want, how we hoped for that, right? Or to see, you know, Brandon discredited. None of them ever get locked up, right? None of them ever go to jail, right? It, it just it never happens, right? It hasn't happened, and it probably won't happen. But they'll we'll go on now for two years, trying to trying to catch catch Brandon and McCo- uh, McCabe, right? McCabe is at the center of it. James Comey lied on this document and that document, right? And and if even if all let's just say all of their heads roll, right? Where would we be? We'd just we'd be switching out the swamp and getting the same result with Pence and Trump and the rest of the jerk offs, right? We get the same thing. We still get the insurgency wars. We still get the the lying about the economy. The economy has never been so good. Unemployment is is at record lows for blacks and Hispanics. You heard, you heard that lie? Fucking 3.7 when it's really probably around 20%, right? All those lies, right? Insurgency wars, catering to big oil. You'll never get health care, a legitimate, righteous health care program in this country. Uh, that's all I'm saying, right? I think it's, I mean, it's it's good if you can catch the bad guys, but why make that the focus of the, of the why say, oh, Trump is going to get Brennan and Clapper and meanwhile, he's 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 ready to to overthrow fucking Venezuela, right? And turns a blind eye on on all these insurgency wars, and now is moving into Iran, of all places. Let's start a war with Iran. Let's let's um, let's uh, continue the war in Yemen and and fund Al Qaeda and ISIS, right? And uh, give uh, the 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 sponsor of that uh, Saudi Arabia. Let's give them nuclear warheads. And then we'll join Saudi Arabia in knocking off Iran and, and, and cuddling with Israel to knock off Iran. That's, your, that's, that's, the, that's the leadership right now. Right? That's the, the new swamp, right? The new swamp creatures are doing that. So, uh, Marcus Conti rec- uh, reporting, kindly become a Patreon and, uh, or, and or make a contribution on PayPal or buy some stickers on eBay. Mark Scott, hey, reporting. And don't forget to subscribe.